Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so the doorbell just rang. I think that's my Instacart delivery from Will. You can tell I haven't even been downstairs in a couple of days. I got a bunch of garbage here, so let me take this down. Oh, I'm anxious to see what what I'm getting. Oh, let me put my shoes on. I'll, they do have a trash can sitting closer than the actual dumpster so that the residents don't have to walk so far to, to dispose of their garbage. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Look at all this food, guys. This is amazing. Toilet paper. From, that came from Amazon. Okay. Let me get this stuff inside. Oh, it's cold today. I thought it was warm because it was really warm inside the apartment. In fact, I had to open the window a little bit. Get in some fresh air. <sighs> it's funny how things stick in your memory, things that happened uh, 55, 60 years ago. Every time I see something plastic on the ground, like that little piece of plastic out there, I think about my best friend, Ann. She and her mama were walking down the street there and those old back streets of Lumberton, Mississippi and she picked up a balloon and put it up to her mouth to blow it up and her mama knocked it out of her hand and said, put that thing down. That's not a balloon, it's a condom. <laughs> oh God, oh, can you imagine? Her parents were very, she had good parents. She was a, I guess what you would call a menopause baby. <laughs> Because she had two older brothers that were already in college. One of them had graduated from college, and the other one was still going to the University of Southern Mississippi there in Hattiesburg. And then came along Ann. I loved her so much, and I really missed her, but she was out of my league. She, even though her parents were both teachers, her dad was a principal at one time, but then he got sick with Alzheimer's. And um, that was so pitiful. You know, we were only 11, 12 years old. I remember seeing him wander around the house and he'd, he'd come into the den and stop and scratch his head like he was wandering so hard why he had come into the room. Okay, these bags are busted open, so I'm going to pause you and go upstairs and get another bag, transfer these, and um, I'll be back when I unpackage it. Okay, so I have some of the bags up here. I have to stop. I'm starving. So, um... Will sent me this little salad kit, so I'm going to sit down and eat this and, uh, <laughs> <coughs> and put this little cheese pizza in the oven. I have to rest a minute. I can't get all of these groceries up the stairs all at one time. So let me um, eat, and I'll finish up the video in a minute. Y'all, look at this neat little salad kit. Um, I was watching Nana's video last night. 
and she had bought one similar to this from Aldi, and I thought, oh, I would like to try those. I hardly ever go to shopping at Aldi, though. I'm not buying, but, oh, look. <laughs> Nine has had a little fork in it, too. Okay, so she just dumped this into here. Okay, so I'm going to eat the salad while I wait on the pizza to bake, and, and I'll be back. Okay, so I have not uh, brought up all the toilet paper yet, but uh, Will got, bought me three of these, so that's 36 rolls of Angel Soft toilet paper. And let me open this up and see what's in here from Amazon. So this is not from Will, it's uh, a gift, a gift for you. Look, <laughs> ordered this for myself, thought of you after I watched a recent video from YouTube subscriber. Thank you so much. You are so sweet, and I really appreciate it. <laughs> I'm not going to run out of toilet paper, y'all, for a very, very long time. And this is Scott. Twelve rows there. Thank you. I wish I knew your name, but I kind of have an idea. I kind of have an idea who it's from. <clears throat> and this, I don't know who this is from. <clears throat> I don't know if... Will bought it for me or what? Degree deodorant, so that's great. Okay, so let's go through this. Um, a pound of ground turkey. I love cooking with ground turkey. It's so healthy. And I have two packs of uh, chicken thighs. And these are two and a quarter pounds. So that's almost five pounds of chicken thighs. <clears throat> <laughs> Y'all, this country boy from South Georgia is going to make sure I don't run out of bacon. <laughs> Three pounds of bacon. This is amazing. <laughs> oh, let's see. Oh, and a pork roast. Savory brown sugar. Family all American eight. Oh, Hatfield. Dried rub pork loin filet. Awesome. I think I'll cook this for my dinner tonight. I had to stop and take a break because I was so hungry. Oh, what is this? A top sirloin steak. That is going to be so good. That's grass fed. And here is a pack of bone in pork chops, a little over a pound. I'll just go ahead and put them down in my sink. And I will wash these before I put them in my vacuum sealer in another package of pork chops. Okay, so I believe that's the meat. And these are some frozen dinners that he will got for me. Y'all, I love these um, chicken cordon bleu. These are so good. You make a um, baked potato and this and... Um, some frozen broccoli, you have a quick, nutritious meal in no time. Oh, I've never seen this before. Look, uh, little containers of mixed veggies. To see those right up in the microwave, awesome. A Marie Callender's pot pie. Oh, chicken carbonara. Ooh, this is gonna be so good. This is one of those one skillet meals, you just heat it up and have your dinner cooked in no time. And this is a voila from Bird's Eye. Oh, beef lo mein. You haven't bought this for me before, so I'm anxious to try this one. I think you got me the shrimp before. So that's that. And here's a bag of russet potatoes. I'll go ahead and stick those down here in my cabinet. And a big bag of onions. I believe this is a three pound bag. Yep, a three pound bag. These are beautiful. Look like they just came out of the garden. Okay. Oh, and here's some sausage. And he bought me, gonna make me some red beans and rice. <laughs> Put my hickory smoked sausage in with them. And he got me a big box of Splenda. 
200 in here, so this will last a long time. And my goodie surprise, two bags of Tahoe cookies. <laughs> Yay, my favorite. Thank you, Will. Um, oh, wheat thins. I haven't had these since I live with Jill in New Jersey. She bought them all the time. They're very addictive. Toast and peanut butter crackers. Oh, and look, Keebler cheddar crackers. Awesome. And there were two of these, a cheese one, which I ate for lunch already, <laughs> and then the little um, pepperoni one. So that's great to have these little pizzas on hand when you're tired and hungry and need something quick to eat. And then I ate one of these already for lunch. It was delicious, too. Lots and lots of vegetables. This is broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. Brussels sprouts, which I love. Another package of Brussels sprouts. And sugar snap peas. Those are so good. To, he always asked me what I want, so I was craving one of these Intamins uh, raspberry dania. So thank you for getting my special request. I really appreciate that. I love just having a little piece of it in the mornings with my coffee. And I have wanting, I've been wanting hot dogs, so he got me hot dog buns and weenies, Oscar Mayer weenies, and the can of Hormel No Beans Chili. And then he bought all my grits, <laughs> quick grits, my white hominy grits. Oh, how did you know I love these Lesseur peas? We must have talked about this already. I used to cook these all the time for the kids. They loved them. And he got me a jar of olive oil, which I was needing. Um, celery, carrots, and a big bag of nutritious bananas. He got me another nice little snack, Ruffles potato chips. <gasps> oh, French onion dip. <laughs> Ooh, y'all, I'm gonna be snacking up a storm after dinner tonight. Two pounds of butter. And pepperoni. Oh, this is boar's head too. It's gonna be delicious. Can't beat boar's head. And um, a pack of breakfast sausage. I think these, these are the kind you just stick in the microwave. They're gonna be good. I used to cook these for Marco. And a big old huge block of cheddar cheese. And then he got me my keto yogurt. This is really good too, guys. Remember, he bought this for me when I was supposed to be starting on the keto diet, but I had to put it on the back burner because I was too sick to, to deal with it. And um, I told him I didn't need eggs. I have plenty of eggs, and he got me a gallon of whole milk. So this is my Instacart delivery from Mr. Will Souls. Oh, what, oh, more yogurt. I didn't even see that. Oh, this is, um, that's probably Greek yogurt, and then, let's see, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six yogurts that will get me through until I finish this antibiotic. So this is it, guys. I am so blessed and thankful and grateful. It, it just shows that if you live a good life and you trust in the Lord Jesus Christ to provide your needs, he will. Sometimes you might get down and out and feel like you're in a dark place and you're all alone and by yourself, but you're not. You're never alone because Jesus Christ is always with us. Uh, he walks with us every step that we take throughout our lives. And when he sees that you're in need, he'll provide for you. You know, when I started my YouTube channel, I was destitute. I was living off just a little over about $900 a month. My rent was $600. And then I got a little widow's pension, which knocked me out of my Medicaid and food stamps. And I was in very bad shape. It was to the point to where I couldn't afford food. I was having to dumpster dive. And 
uh, stand in long lines at food banks to get food. And I thought, well, I just can't uh, afford this rent. You know, I, I have to decide, is it a roof over my head or is it food or medicine or whatever. So I started watching guy that has the RV channel, uh, Bob Wells. I started watching Bob Wells and there were, he has a lot of videos on, on his channel on how to fix your car and turn your car into a home. Well, I have a pretty big uh, 2008 Camry, so I thought that that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to turn my car into a home, remove the passenger seat, put my bed there, and just live in my car. And so I just prayed about it and, and prayed about it, and I didn't want to leave because I wanted to stay up north to be near Jill and my grandkids. I mean, they're my life. They, they mean the world to me. But I didn't, of course, it's not, moving in with them is not an option. That is just something that I would never do and something that they would not want either. So I just prayed about it, and I was watching, you know, Bob Wells' videos on living in campers and all of that, and then uh, Deborah Joy's video popped up. She was living in Tank, her old blue Dodge van at the time, or maybe it was a Ford van. She was living in Tank, her, her old van at the time, and making YouTube videos, and I thought, YouTube videos. I mean, I didn't even know anything about YouTube. I had just recently started watching it. And um, so I, I heard about Social Blades. I was able to go over there and look up and see that she was making, you know, two and $300 a month. And, and I was thinking if I could just make $100 a month, you know, I could probably keep my apartment. So that's when I started my YouTube channel in, um, in the fall of 2017. And, and here I am now making videos and um, you know, making a, a little part-time income, and I'm so thankful and grateful for it. So I hope you enjoyed my video. Uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share, and if you're new here, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. You will be loved and accepted here, and y'all just keep on coming back. Bye.